And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Plunder, second deck of the day. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, just kind of a little reminder um, today, uh, you know, this video came out like I have, this, I'm going to have it scheduled for six hours after the first video and I'm going to be still doing the four videos every day, five games with each video, but they're going to be scheduled six hours apart. Um, it'll be six o'clock and 12 o'clock Eastern time just throughout the, the day. So this one should be coming out midnight Eastern. Anyway, um, this is another donation deck. This is a viewer submitted deck that wanted me to give this one a try over in ranked, a deck that they've been playing in ranked themselves, but just wanted another opinion. And we're going to be playing Misfortune and Sejuani together, getting some plunder. So our deck's going to be aggressive, but it's not necessarily super aggressive. Like, we do have a good late game. So, like, against a control decks that are going to have the removal, we do have cards like Black Market Merchant and Pilfered Goods. So we still have those steel cards that kind of give us um, access to our opponent's deck. So we have more tools to fight whatever they got. But then we have the Ruthless Raider and Ember Maiden combo. Get more plunder triggers in there. We got the Wolf Riders to help us ramp. Ramping into Tusk Raider. Letting us draw uh, Sejuani's and getting that going. Got a couple Citrus Curries in here to rally. To give us more attacks for Misfortune. Um, and that's kind of about it. That's that's what our deck's all about. So here we go. Let's try some Sejuani Plunder. And hopefully it, it works out pretty well. I guess I should say for the recording, um, those of y'all also on Twitch today, I did change up audio settings. Hopefully made the audio better, but I'm not, I don't know how the levels really sound on recordings. So if you want to leave a comment, if you think, you know, like, like how the gameplay volume is compared to my voice with like just the um, SFX sounds, the voice lines, the music, all that kind of stuff. I think we have to get value out of the Black Market Merchant, so I'm going to be passing with it. No prey, no pay. And I want to get Misfortune down really early, get those attacks in. If I did not have Elixir of Iron, I would not play Misfortune, but I do have Elixir of Iron, so I'm playing Misfortune. All right, so we traded two for two. So I, I didn't get the black market merchants in play first to make these cost one less, but I think that's perfectly fine. I'll just take the two cards while we can. Safety We're just stealing cards back and forth. Yeah, the, your, the song that you have changes depending on what board that you're playing on. Were you playing on the Bilgewater board? And that's why we got this song playing. Though. 
We know that they stole one Bilgewater card, at least from us, because last uh, last turn, my Yordle Grifter did hit the Allegiance, but then we drew a Sejuani. Hopefully my 3-2 just kills both those things. Sure, and kill that thing. Thank you. I'll take a 2-mana 3-3 Shadow Assassin. They have one more card than we do, but two of our cards are just warning shots. Yeah, these pilfer goods and black market mer merchants and stuff, they are quite silly. So while I could go straight to attacks, their deck's gonna have more spells than our deck. They're like their deck has a lot of spells. Still take six. Oh wait, we're gonna overwhelm. Take eight. All right, so they're down to six cards. I have seven cards, so I have one extra card. But obviously they have a Twisted Fate in play and two of my cards are warning shots. Ooh, they missed. Good. Of course, I have no more mana, ga mana gems to gain. I 
Yeah, now, and so, uh, I just played two spells, so next turn these deep meditations are going to be two mana each. That's why I won't, like, that was one reason to go with the Wolf Rider instead of playing one of those. I wish we still had a Black Market Merchant that I, you know, to pair with this Retreat, because that is a really good pairing, Black Market Merchant with Retreat. Maybe a little too greedy, like maybe we should just wait and just attack with our overwhelm thing instead of trying to block, but okay. Not bad. Um it's okay. Out of eight. Not really, yeah, I'm not really planning on playing the Butcher this turn. We got a little bug here. This card. So planning on like these three cards, Deep Meditation, Retreat, and Make It Rain. Some combination of those three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I draw two, let's just play this thing. No, let's first parlay. Just get that off the out of play. There's plenty of killing left. These jagged butchers have been good. Just one mana, three threes. Been good. As the dragon Master yourself, master your enemy. Hmm. It's like this is still like the the dragon rage part still bounces things. Like they can still challenge my Sejuani and bounce my Sejuani. Even if I frostbite it. Yeah, the, the problem is... Yeah, so Will of Ionia is probably worth... Yeah, it's probably worth playing Will of Ionia here. The problem is that means I probably don't get to play Sejuani because I want to do other things. Um... That's kind of the problem. 
Even though, yes, I, I do want to will. Yeah. So it's kind of unfortunate. Like, I want to play um, Sejuani, but I also want to will by any of that. And I like how they use the warning shot. Like, I, w I didn't want to play Will of Ionia also, like, right away. I wanted them to play a spell to give that challenger first. Bleh. All right. Conflict is all in the mind. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. Guess I shouldn't have played the Omen Hawk. So, you know, then I would have had one of these things first. I should have just done the other thing first and seen if we want to play the Omen Hawk. But that's alright. We still have these available for future. Opportunities. Fight for your lives. Carved from the savage cold. Never lost a fair game. The flavor. I should have just done this in response, by the way, to the, the gold card. Instead of taking my turn, I should have done that in response. Get this, these last four points across. I smelled you long before you arrived. I'll take that as a compliment. So I want to play both of those. That's eight mana, which means I'd have three left. So probably enough for misfortune. I can wait though. So is their last card going to be a fast spell? Bring me chaos. Sure hope not. Wow, it was a fast spell? And they just play that to counter my fizz? What? Really? Say your farewells. 
Well, they definitely should have played that and countered with the Fizz. I guess they probably realized that. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. That was an intense game, that's for sure. That was an intense back and forth game. But we got the win. And we are 1-0. Alright. Oh. Harvey, will you lay on the bed if I put it over here? Lay on your dog bed. this hand. I will keep it. Thank you. I feel like I aged watching that. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough game. Yeah, that was my plan for the next turn was to parlay their nexus. Or I guess I could have just... Oh, so you're saying that I should have just done it that, that turn while they were attacking? I guess I could have done that too. That was my plan for the offensive turn. My selection speaks for itself. There's plenty of killing left. Yeah, I do wish the names of the cards were on, on top here, so there's a lot of cards you don't know what they do. Because, like, you, know, you can't even see, like, what the names of the cards are in my hand. By making that block, it doesn't let them turn on parlay. Um, so I can use this, kill that, do one to them, draw two of their cards. I'll play this Misfortune, and that's what I'm going to do. But I don't want to let them turn on a parlay. Darn. I was, if they if they spend that two mana, that would have been great to zero mana kill Fizz. That would have been great. This is a safe attack, because of the one toughness. Is that like the best pilfer goods ever? We just stole a black market merchant and a pilfer goods. And then we just stole another pilfer goods. Are you Are you serious? We just did that? We are living the dream. The actual dream. We just have infinite cards. We have infinite cards now. Thieving. That's what we're gonna just keep doing. Oh, a Yordle Grifter. We could take some more stuff. What else you got? Okay, okay. Should I play Omen Hawk or Coral Creatures? Don't 
<coughs> no! They got me. Well, Fizz's ability, if I try to kill Fizz, they just play a spell and counter my spell. They have all these black market merchants. I already... I've played two and stolen one of theirs. Wait, no. So I only played one and stole one. Theirs. And so basically, if I if I try to parlay in Fizz and they just play something to counter my parlay, then I don't get to trigger Plunder and then I don't get to pilfer goods and all that kind of stuff. So we know one of those cards in hand is a Poro. Okay, the Omen Hawk hit these two things, so they took a spell from me this past turn. Oh, this is fleeting because of the pool shark? Well, I should probably cast this. Since it's fleeting. You own what you take. Oh, they had two mana when I had the parlay, when they played the fizz the first time. They had three mana total. They played the fizz. They had two extra mana. And yeah, so I, I could have tried parlay, parlaying it. This also isn't arguably that like it's it's fine, but it's not like something I need to bend my back over trying to kill. You don't understand why some abilities are burst and others are fast. It's just something just a part of the game that they wanted. They wanted different levels of interaction. Why some spells get burst, why some get fast, I, I can't tell you why that, but, you yeah, know, it's just something they wanted to have. I mean, it's, it's written on the card, what, what the card is. Just like... Guns blazing. There's not really any reason to attack with this pool shark. But I think I'm still going to anyway. I'll take everything. Oh, for the, the creature's ability? Like when it's burst or fast? Um it tells you, like, basically, the ones that you can respond to, there is a symbol on the ones, none of these are ones that you can respond to. There's a, a symbol that tells you that it's fast, that you can respond to it. Love ya. So yeah, to sacrifice that pool shark, that's fine. So yeah, like, basically all these are, are burst speed. If there's something that, like, you know, like a Commander Ledros, how it goes on the stack, there's, like, a little dot. If you look at, like, Commander Ledros, there's, like, a little dot on it that um, tells you it's, like, an ability that goes on the stack that you can respond to. Misfortune's different, though, because it just says this. I guess... Yeah, I guess that Misfortune could have it, but... Misfortune's ability can't be denied? I would think it... Why can't it? It goes to the middle. It seems like it should be denied. Yeah, maybe it's like the skills. Yeah, the skills are fast speed. But like this isn't considered a skill. So like, yeah, if it's a, if it's a skill, that means it's fast speed.
So I'm most likely going to be playing this Fury of the North to protect Sejuani. Wait, I don't even have to do that, do I? Because wait, can't I just do this and level up Sejuani? And then I do this, and all the things are frostbitten. And then I'm like, that's cool. Sweet, warning shots. 2 0. That was cool. All right, so um, does that have Ledros? I don't think that has Ledros. Where's the deck with Ledros? You have Ledros. See, like that's so that shows it's like a skill. Yeah, so this is a skill that allows enemy reaction. So like that symbol right there, um, you know, has that symbol play. So I guess so the units that have skills, those are, you know, it says it right there. So look for that symbol. That's that symbol. You can respond. All right, we are playing Sejuani Plenda. So far, so good. That that game was pretty crazy how we stole all their steel stuff. And they still had more steel stuff. To steal some of my stuff back. So you're lying right next to your bed? Same thing. Oh man, this is just steel mirrors all day. Hmm. I wanted a one drop. Oh, somebody requested sleeves? No, I missed that. Ah, oh, I missed that. Sorry. I should have mulligan this make it rain. Alright, so we're gonna switch over to yellow sleeves after this. There is a yellow sleeve, we can do that. Better run. Sorry, Zaru. I haven't been good with changing those yet. But yeah, like, there's no, like, real notification, so just have to be playing close attention to see those. Fortune favors the bold. He started without me. I'm gonna waste a make it rain and a parlay just to keep this misfortune alive. No. We're just gonna be trading misfortune for 3 3. Jagged Butcher's so good. No. I don't like Black Market Merchant. you got boom crew black wolf market merchant so i could play both of those but i think wolf rider is my best play get that mana gem this early boo 
they had the spell to counter, but it was also just a, a good spell to play that, you know, grew the fizz. Like, I wouldn't mind them just having to, like, waste a spell to counter, like, if it was, like, a pill for goods, or they didn't have the plunder turned on or something like that. Um, no, there's nothing that lets you see the opponent's hand in this game. Try to kill this one one. Wow. Fizz's playful trickster. That's pretty great. Is that lethal? Puts me down to one. Wow, that was pretty great. Yeah, that's lethal. Alright, two and one. That was some crazy damage outputs. It's turn five? Turn five kill, I think? That pocket aces cost two mana also. Let them have that extra mana. Dang. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Sleeve. Yay. Yellow sleeve. Okay. Yellow sleeve. I'm glad it, you know, gave me a little bit to not find the match as I remembered. Yeah, the Wolf Riders have looked pretty meh in our deck. They've looked like the worst card in our deck. They don't help the Yordle Grifter either. They have kind of looked like the worst card. Wonder if, like, Zap Spray Fins would be, would be better. Uh, some of these, probably, like, I haven't loved, like, the Ember Maiden and the other three one either. This deck's kind of similar to my Twisted Fizz that I'm going to play up next, though. Like, the Twisted Fizz that I'm going to be playing up next is also Bilgewater Frel Yord, um, and it's my favorite deck to play, and it's similar to this. Alright, Eye of the Dragon. No pray, okay. no pay. Alright, hopefully that's better with the camera sinking. What else you got? Eye of the Dragon and Deep Meditation. Slow down, will you? Yeah, will ya? Safety will No, missed. So you can basically use both of these to trade with the Grizzled Ranger.
So two options are like warning shot plus wolf rider and ramp, you know, help us out with like deep meditation and everything. Or I go make it rain to kill the grizzled ranger, get to attack with the 4-4. Four -four. They block with their 4-4, four -four. I like elixir of iron it, then I have two spell, then I play eye of the dragon and then we'll have deep meditation next turn. sure which plays really better i think we're gonna go with this way this route would like ramping justice will be served This has made things worse. One need more steel cards, because I need to find like their like Will of Ionia if they ever draw a Unyielding spirit. Smell that bark, fear. All right, this will get. Let me have like Tusk Raider mana next turn. Virtue guides me. Come on. But I need to trigger plunder for this Tusk Raider, which isn't easy to do. So I guess we're gonna just Sejuani. just no like yeah attacking the dragon there's zero percent chance of that working No, would, yeah, there's absolutely no reason to do the all-in attack. That would, like before the Sejuani, that would really put me, put me back. Cannot sacrifice Wolf Rider and like my four three and my four two. You know, I can't just sacrifice that stuff for such little gain. There's a will. Well, we have a will. So now do we have a way? I've heard where there is a will. Strike for justice.
darn it. I wanted to trigger plunder, obviously. Not too confident in this Edgewani working. We doubled our Omen Hawk <laughs> to T2. Really, really did a lot there. <laughs> doubled Omen Hawk. Hey, Aquafina. Could be good for me. No. All right, not good. <clears throat> not good. All right, so am I going to, let's see, Lux is, so Lux is still zero. my elixir of iron protected my 8-4 turned it into an 
I kind of want to use that in future turns. Lux. No more holding back. All right, well, we got the unyielding spirit out of their hand. Let the light die so that's a start. I would say. No that's a start. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to like wait for them to be able to have deny mana available. Burn them. Destruction feeds my heart's fire. We're in a health pot, the wolf rider. All right, so we'll we'll be able to deal one to everything at the beginning of the round. Frostbite their stuff. Citrus Courier maybe does something. Maybe. Shine with me. So like I basically have these two cards. Um you know, it's risky playing Fury of the North for bounce spells. So let's see, they they played a Will of Ionia, and I played a Will of Ionia. So there's one more Will of Ionia. I think I, I guess I just let damage. Yeah, we just let damage happen. Nope, no Riptide Rex. No, this isn't, uh, like, this was a, a user list. This wasn't my list. That's the, the two Ds up here. This was a donation deck that a viewer submitted. Um, but it's been working pretty good. We had a really crazy loss uh, where we lost on turn five to a Boom Crew Rookie Fizz deck. Um, that had, like, Rally also. Yep, the Sejuani ships taking up those slots. That seems kind of a weird time to play that card, right? Let's go! Bring the oranges! Gotta get that vitamin C. And vitamin C you later. I don't want to do Braum Wave and then lose. <laughs> I mean, I don't really want to do Braum Wave anyway. But. Face me, coward. Opponent's in the tank. <laughs> yeah, our deck's playing real well. Even that game that we lost, our deck looked good. 
they did have the third William. I'm glad it didn't Fury of the North. I want to play this Wolf Rider, but if I play the Wolf Rider, then they get to Final Spark. Probably worth. Eight power overwhelm? Probably worth. Uh, I don't know, say moi. I don't know. A beacon through the dark. I honestly don't know the answer to that question. Possible I need to I delete those, I don't know. Alright, three and one. Alright, Sejuani Plunder, looking good. Mariah says, I've, I got to master with the Sejuani Plunder deck. It was quite a bit different from what you're playing, though. Okay. Alright, Mulligan the 8-drop. Are we keeping this 1, 2, 3? I think so. We'll keep the 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. I did change... I did, Zaru, the, before the last one. You said you want yellow sleeves? I changed it before the last game. Remember, I, I exited out and re-entered. That's not a good block. I guess it keeps that from triggering, but um, with me having, like, Misfortune, this thing doesn't get to block profitably. It's like I shouldn't, shouldn't do the trade. Disciple. This land is ours. The winter's flaw. It's going to be a sad. Uh, Elixir of Iron. Sad Elixir of Iron for me. Block. There we go. That was the block that I was expecting. And we got, what, like a 75% chance or so? Yay. So we'll take two. I'll level up their Sejuani some more. And their Swain. We'll have Misfortune attacks and survives. I don't really have good answers to the 
the champions, like either champion. Good draw. Time for That's a real good draw. Because that can help us try to find some answers Bell to these champions. No oh, it's only at three out of five? I thought it was going to be four. Yes, Tusk Raider. Let's go. Let's go. So now Wolf Rider ramps us up round seven. We'll have the mana for Tusk Raider. Stand and fight. Um, I guess I need to play the Make It Rain. Trigger Plunder. Let's go. Our spoils will rival the War Mothers. Hear that, Bristle? Varg offers a challenge. Yeah, I could have killed our Sejuani, but I couldn't really kill our Sejuani and play a Plunder Tusk Raider. Couldn't do both of those. Their deck's a little, a little different, but yeah, it works, kind of works the same. Sweet, so now with a leveled up Sejuani in play, then whenever a Misfortune attacks, the Misfortune trigger would also Frostbite everything they got. And we got a sweet 4-1. That was awesome. GG's. There we go. This, this deck was really sweet. Um... You know, I'm, I'm kind of still skeptical of, like, Wolf Rider, Ember Maiden, Ruthless Raider, that kind of stuff. But there's times, like, when they do a lot of work for you. Like, there's times where Ember Maiden was awesome, like, in the fourth game. And there's time where Wolf Rider is good. Twice we had turn six, we played a Plundered Wolf Rider, so that turn seven we got to play a Tusk Raider. That happened in two games. Um... But yeah, like the early game's awesome. Jacket Butcher was really good. Uh, that was a card that um, the person who submitted this deck was kind of debating between like Avalanche or Jagged Butcher for that slot. Like Avalanche to help out against aggro. Um, but I, I liked having another one mana threat to just keep help us keep that pressure going. Misfortune was really good. Sejuani, of course, amazing. And then Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, still pretty broken. Parlay was really good, helping us turn on Plunder. Important to do that. Um, there we go. So yeah, just just a just a good deck, you know. Like, um, you know, these are kind of like on the watch list. Is like, do we want these Freljord cards? It you know hurts Yordle Grifter, that kind of stuff. But they these Freljord cards do certainly help out Misfortune and Sejuani, which are the champions of our deck. <clears throat> um, not sure what Ember adds to the deck. Um, it gives you a little bit of removal against like the go wide decks, like the spider decks and stuff like that. Like that helps out, but the one damage to everything triggers your plunder so that on your opponent's turn, you can Wolf Rider a lot easier and Tusk Raider later on in the game. Playing those two cards with the Plunder Trigger are really important. It also helps you level up Sejuani, and then also you have, or after you have a leveled up Sejuani, it's perfect because you, like this, this is what we did the fourth game. We had a leveled up Sejuani and Ember Maiden in play, 
and we untapped with both of those. Um, you know, we played the Ember Maid on their turn, untap, deal the one damage, frostbite all of our opponent's enemies, and then get to attack right away. Could Callus be a better option instead of Wolf Rider against aggro? Probably not. I think the four three. I think having a four three body is more valuable than gaining three life. This thing blocks Boom Crew Rookie very well. Same with like Crimson Disciple, that kind of stuff. I'd, I'd rather have Wolf Rider. So yeah, good deck, good deck. All right, we're gonna have a similar one with Twisted Fizz up next. Like we're gonna be playing these same regions, similar deck. And Twisted Fizz, the deck that we're about to play, has that's been the rank up deck that I've been playing off screen all the time. I was three and zero with the deck earlier today, and so I'm excited to play it here. Um, but uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments, those likes and comments. Uh, definitely appreciate those. And then, yeah, we'll have a similar deck to this coming up next. All right. Thank you so much for watching some Sejuani Plunder, and I'll see you for the next video.